this is what we're eating tonight <laughs> so this should be pretty good this does not have any knickknacks so there's no bag to open but uh, you know we've got um, you know our Mexican spice blend which is pretty standard nowadays you can buy that just about anywhere uh, and then here's the rest of our ingredients um, I'll show you how they do their these are so good I can't wait I'm sorry all this food is so good um, here's how they do their eggs so let me set this down this is their egg carton that's how they ship you the eggs so they don't break new camera is going to let you see a little more so peel and small dice the onion so we've got our onion here we're going to have to small dice that which means that we're going to have to put this into a uh, bowl which i've got right here so now you see what i'm doing in the kitchen when i'm preparing all this this is how i peel an onion it makes it so much easier to do i mean you don't need every last little piece i know it's wasteful but whatever doesn't matter it's easy to peel cut off both ends boom boom cut a little layer and then you're good to go so <laughs> that's it now i want to get the uh chopper from um you know you've probably seen the commercial slap chop but there's one from pampered chef same thing but uh, whatever so we're going to small dice these and easiest way I can think of doing that. Remember, eight, these come in layers, so use that to your advantage. Cut these things so that you don't have to do as much work. Cut them thin. Okay, see? All that small diced onion. Just from the layers. See? So, you know, you don't have to uh, do a whole lot of work with that. These are, uh, I don't know how to describe the consistency of these to you. Uh, as you can see there, um, these these have a, uh, I feel like a lime. I think lime. Now these, you don't have any grain to work with. So, you know, we're just cutting these and then we'll cut the top right off. So we make two separate layers here and make it work to our advantage and we want to just gently run this knife back and forth because you got the skin and because of the skin you can't just press down I'll be able to cut these ones a, a little easier notice I'm not dragging my blade this way cleaning off the surface with my blade what we're dealing with here is is um, cutting through that so what I do is I'm going to cut this. Be careful, you'll slip off of that like I just did. Okay, so there you go. Then just come in and cut a layer. Be careful as you do this, okay? Then we take these, cut them like that. They're small diced. Um, what I was talking about, see the skin on here, it, you're not going to be able to just chop through. So you want to take the knife and just drag gently. You're not pressing down. You're letting the knife do the work. Just gently press uh, or move it back and forth. You're slicing. You're not pressing down. You're not trying to, uh, you know, chop this stuff up. You're letting this blade work for you. look at this to frame that yep so whatever pinto beans work for you uh, we need to go ahead and get our can opener now when you're going to drain these this can opener is not the best um, here's what I find works again 
you know, we managed to open this up. So here's what I was talking about. You leave two little flaps on there so that you can open this at an angle and get some drainage. So we're going to come over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. When we go to, to drain our food, just drain that down the drain like that. But then we can set this without everything coming out and get some air going in there and then let that drain out real well. That's why we left the flap. Small dice are zucchini. <laughs> And we've all done seen this done a hundred times on my show. Uh, zucchini is just super easy to small dice because we just cut all the little pieces into you know well, quarter inch rounds or so. Uh. Quarter of this here. This is our lime, so we'll quarter it, then we slice the uh, avocado after we I'll show you how we do this avocado after we quarter this. So best way to do an avocado, from my point of view, one, this little kernel in there, just peel it right out. Take your avocado and you just go around it all the way. That's it. You take it, twist it, done. Pit, the pit comes out very easy. You just take your knife, give it a good whack. You know, and I kind of take my knife and brace it so I'm not using my wrist and making these huge motions like this. You just, see that, boom. You take it over to your trash can and knock it into the trash can. To peel these, super easy because you just take your peel right like there just like that done it's okay if it breaks it doesn't have to be perfect usually a little piece of it's going to come undone and it's going to be a little bit you know now if you've got one of those uh things that slices eggs it can work really well for this um either hard boiled eggs if it's big enough Okay, so I'm going to thinly slice these avocado. No need to go quickly, don't, you know, super soft, so, you know. Well, take the juice of one of our limes, just sprinkle that over. It'll get on there. Don't worry. Okay, cheese. You get a little plate. I've got paper plates over here, so um, do that. I know we've got a cheese grater down here, and I'm just gonna grate our cheese. close to being too small. Mm, delicious. I like being a chef. This is just pretty much like doing mashed potatoes. Uh, you know, but you just I just mash. You know, there's take a little bit of So we want to take half the onion here. Uh, I'm just going to scoop it out and uh, put that in there, calling that half the onion. We've got our spice blend here, and I'm going to take half of that. Um, now what I'm doing, I'm swinging it around here, I'm taking it and holding it just like this and just just 
sprinkling it in there. Call that half. Uh, I'm going to put all of them in there. And then we're going to take a half of a cup of water. This is going to cook over nine minutes. I got that other burner on and I don't need it on. Okay. So this is going to cook over nine minutes. It's going to be here for a little bit. And we're just going to occasionally stir it and you want to kind of smash your tomatillos, tomatillos, tomat, tomato, tomato, tomatillo, as they cook. So you want to kind of smash them down. Um, right now they're too hard to do that to. So we're just going to keep the spice blend. Remaining onions, remaining spice blend. Mix it up in here and we'll cook these one to two minutes or until softened. So now we're going to add to this bowl. The zucchini, that's why I said we probably should have done the other one, but this is okay. We can make this work. We're not able to fully prep the quesadillas just yet, but we're going to go ahead and do this because I just want to get kind of started on these things. I can't because I haven't finished cooking the filling for these. <laughs> so what we're doing is just taking these corn tortillas out putting one in each of these containers just to make this easy because I'm just going to put these right back on top of here. Okay, so what we would be doing is taking, um, while the salsa cooks, but we have to make the filling. So we're going to take the filling, um, half the cheese between these two. So we're just going to take half the cheese here and then you top this with some of the filling. You're going to have filling left over. And then uh, this is the inside. So just remember you're gonna use the rest of this cheese. We're gonna add these beans and a quarter cup of water. Gonna finish these. We've put the cheese in there. We want to melt the cheese, so we're gonna take our filling. These are gonna be good. I'm telling you right now. Just take that filling. You'll have leftover filling. You will. Uh, so don't try to get it all in there. So that's good to me. Do these. Take this whole thing over here, just transfer this whole thing right onto that. I'll be back. Just so this doesn't fall apart, and you're gonna have to do this kind of quick. I did lose a little bit, it's okay. We'll just put it right back inside. <laughs> nope. So we can just take those and prep them by putting them right back in there. It's starting to slide out, so we're just gonna flip and cook the eggs for the uh, quesadillas. Now, you do the eggs however you want. I like sunny side up or over easy. Um, this is an olive oil ham spray so I, I just take the eggs and you crack them on something flat makes it easy to you don't end up with eggshells usually I say usually because you never it's always you know now some people will salt and pepper their eggs after they're done cooking I do it while they're cooking makes for a much better egg but be careful because you can overdo it it 
And so while you're watching your egg, I wish I could bring you guys over to look at this, you know, your, the clear part of the egg. Just watch the clear part for your flip. This is if you want to do over easy. Uh, once the egg is on the edges of the egg, it starts to uh, become non-clear all the way through. You're getting close to your flipping. Kind of tell when you go to flip your egg for over easy if it readily okay so you can tell if it's ready you just drag it and flip it I know a lot of people like to pick the whole egg up you don't pick the whole egg up just pick up about half the egg and, and flip I switched spatulas because the other one wasn't even letting me get half uh, and that's it that's over easy and then you just take that egg done now I'm going to do this next egg for myself is going to be sunny side up. So we're just going to let it cook. When we do that, again, salt and pepper. A little bit of pepper. This is just a battery operated grinder. You put your peppercorns in there and Now, sometimes your egg runs, you don't even need the, uh, you know, the extra outside of the egg. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off now. It's just that thin, sometimes it runs, you know. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to peel that off now. That's what I'm going to deal with it. Now, that we have the part of the egg that we're going to want to eat, um, we're doing sunny side up. Sunny side up means you don't flip the egg. It just means that you let it cook through. So we're just gonna sit here and watch this thing cook. Um, you're looking at the clear part of the egg around the yolk. So your yolk and you have the egg, just watch that clear part. Um, you know, it turns white you just keep, keep an eye on that. It's kind of a gelish, yellowy-ish color. Just keep cooking it. And you're gonna think, oh no, it's gonna burn on the other side. Don't worry about it. You don't want your heat up too high. You don't want it too low either. Um, medium, medium low, be the best heat, I guess, uh, for that. I'll show you this when I come over there. And I'm just gonna cook this a little bit longer. And I really mean a little bit. Okay, this is my sunny side up egg. See the clearish part there? That's what we were waiting on. Again, same thing. You don't have to get all the way underneath your egg. You can just drag your egg right off the skillet Boom, done, sunny side up. Yumminess. The remaining limes go uh, out for people who want to put them on there. Other than that, I'm just putting this all over the top because I know we're just going to eat it. Just a few of these for myself. I'm not a big fan of radishes. done hope you liked it if you like my videos please subscribe um, these are going to keep coming so please subscribe and, and thumbs up the videos um, appreciate that if you have questions ask them in the comment section i'll try to get to them if you've got comments or anything feel free to ask i'd love to answer questions or um, you know deal with issues or anything like that so let me know appreciate it again like the videos. Thanks.